When it comes to comparing the Indian constitutional scheme with that of other countries, there are several aspects we can delve into. The Indian constitution, adopted on January 26, 1950, is the supreme law of the land and provides the framework for governing the world's largest democracy. It draws inspiration from various sources, including the constitutions of other nations, and has its own unique features. Let's explore some of the key points of comparison. One important aspect to consider is the length and detail of the Indian constitution compared to those of other countries. The Indian constitution is one of the longest written constitutions in the world, with themes of Achanve articles and eight schedules. This extensive document reflects the meticulousness with which the framers intended to address various aspects of governance. In contrast, some other countries have comparatively shorter constitutions that focus primarily on fundamental principles and leave the details to be fleshed out through legislation. Another aspect to consider is the presence of a detailed fundamental rights chapter in the Indian constitution. The fundamental rights guaranteed to Indian citizens are akin to those seen in many democracies around the world, such as the right to equality, freedom of speech, and protection against discrimination. However, what sets the Indian constitution apart is the inclusion of economic, social, and cultural rights alongside civil and political rights. This recognition of broader rights puts India's constitutional scheme in a unique light compared to other countries. Furthermore, the Indian constitution also provides for the reservation of seats for historically disadvantaged communities in legislatures and educational institutions. This affirmative action approach, commonly known as reservation, is intended to address historical social inequalities and promote social justice. While reservation policies exist in other countries, they often differ in their design and implementation. This highlights another distinctive feature of the Indian constitutional scheme. The role and independence of the judiciary is another dimension of comparison. The Indian constitution establishes an independent judiciary with the Supreme Court as the ultimate interpreter of the constitution. The court has the power of judicial review, allowing it to strike down laws inconsistent with the constitution. This authority helps safeguard the rights and liberties of individuals and ensures the constitutional validity of legislation. In other countries, the judiciary's role and powers may vary. Some have similar systems of judicial review, while others rely more on parliamentary supremacy. The level of independence and the scope of judicial intervention can differ significantly, shaping the overall constitutional scheme. Federalism is yet another key area of comparison. The Indian constitution establishes a federal system of government where power is divided between the central government and the states. This distribution of powers is enshrined in the constitution itself and provides for a delicate balance between central authority and regional autonomy. The Indian federal structure is characterized by both exclusive and concurrent powers, where certain matters fall solely under the jurisdiction of either the central or state governments, while others are shared. Comparatively, federal systems in other countries may have different models and dynamics of power sharing. Some may lean more towards centralization, with limited autonomy for states or provinces, while others may have a more decentralized approach. Each country's unique historical, socio-political, and cultural context contributes to the design and functioning of its federal system. Lastly, the process for amending the constitution is an important point of comparison. In India, constitutional amendments require a special majority in parliament, with certain provisions needing approval by a majority of states. This ensures that amendments are not made too easily and provides a balance between the need for flexibility and the need for stability. Other countries may have different procedures, ranging from parliamentary approval to referendums, depending on their constitutional frameworks. In conclusion, the Indian constitutional scheme stands out in several ways when compared to other countries. Its detailed nature, the inclusion of economic and social rights, the affirmative action policies, the independence of the judiciary, the federal system of government, and the amendment process are all distinctive features.
However, it is essential to approach these comparisons with sensitivity to the unique historical, cultural, and geopolitical contexts of each country. By understanding the similarities and differences, we can appreciate the diverse approaches to constitutional governance and draw insights from various systems around the world. Subscribe now and press the bell icon. Never miss an update.